Good morning, and welcome to Cooking with Dan. The following ingredients. Two sweet potatoes, a tomato, cucumber, tin of tuna, a pepper of any colour, some salad cream, a bowl, some pepper, a large knife, and a microwave. The first thing you need to do is stab the absolute shit out of these potatoes. Careful not to stab yourself or others, unless you really want to. Once fully shanked, open the microwave and place inside. And we'll put them on for, let's say, I don't know, uh, five minutes sounds about right. The bigger the potato, the longer you'll need. While they're cooking, open and drain your tin of tuna. Then place the contents of the tuna tin into the bowl, like so. Make sure not to waste any, because this stuff is fucking expensive. Now that's done, we can go about chopping the veg. First with the cucumber, and half, half, half again, and then again. Careful not to cut your own fingers because you don't want them in your uh, salad. Then the tomato, in half. And then, because we want to dice it, don't cut all the way through the top. Helps also if you have a sharp knife, because this one's a bit blunt now. Then your green pepper, you don't want all of this. Probably that'll do you. Ta-da! Then add a healthy helping of salad cream or mayonnaise, whichever you prefer and give it a good old mix. Yeah. Once the spuds are done, take them out of the microwave. Be careful because the plate will be freaking hot. And then cut them open like so. Yeah. Lovely, they should be soft like that inside. If they're a bit hard still, they need a little bit longer, but they should be soft. Leave them to cool for a little bit. And then we can scoop out their insides and add it to that. Okay, I'm not taking any of the skin. Not skin. So hot. There we go. Then again, just mix it in with everything else. Like that. And if you desire. A little touch of pepper. Spicy. Yum. Right, while I'm eating this, I've just got a little video clip to show you that I saw on YouTube this morning that I thought was quite poignant to my trip to Australia, so check this out. It always comes back to us, you know, why are we here? Well, we just happened to be here, we couldn't choose it. The, the chance of us being born, that sperm hitting that egg, is 400 trillion to one. We're not special, we're just lucky. And this is a holiday. We didn't exist for 14 and a half billion years. Then we got 80 or 90 years, if we're lucky, and then we'll never exist again. So we should make the most of it. Good. Right, so what am I doing today? Well, I've got a few little errands to run today. I started selling stuff again on Facebook and eBay because obviously I need to clear my room out with what's left. So I'm going to drop off a couple of things uh, in about an hour to a guy down the road. He's bought a couple of lenses off of me. I've sold a few of the ornaments in my room. Uh, I've sold quite a few bits. So this should be, hopefully, by the time I leave, nothing left in here. And then all I'm going to do is like literally open the floor to everyone who's here and say, look, whatever's left, take it. Donations are welcome. Uh, also, <coughs> 
Went into town yesterday and bought these. They're for like marking up um, some bits in my Australia guide. But these two are for personali personalizing my bag a little bit more. So um, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these bad boys a little bit later on as well. Then I've got work later, so I'll be working tonight and then I'll be working over the weekend. And then the, the place I work opens up full time now, so I'll have no sort of big breaks in the week. So vlogs might slow down a little bit, but don't worry, they're still gonna happen. Um, but yeah, that's my day today. Town sold those, that's another thing that's sell off the list. Um, put a few things on eBay, they've sold as well today, so raking in a bit of cash and also getting rid of some of the stuff I don't need anymore, so that's good. Now I'm gonna personalize these bits of kit that I wanna get personalized, so I'll show you those in a minute. I've got both my bags, uh, my journal book, and the red strap that I'm gonna personalize. I've got a blue marker pen, a black marker pen, and a, um, what is, not a felt tip pen, a, what's the name of this pen? Correction pen, Tipex pen, that's the one I was looking for. This is a Tipex pen. So I'll uh, show you the bags and I'll show you how I'm gonna personalize them. All right, so I've got my red day bag. I've got my obviously black rucksack, the journal, the red strap, which goes around the bag. Uh, and there's a few extra little bits and pieces like this. I'll probably write some stuff on. Obviously, like I said, I've already got these name tags on each bag, on both of those bags. But in case these break or fall off for any reason, I wanna have an extra bit of uh, personalization on there so people know whose bag it is. And also, it's, again, it's just another way of identifying whose bag is who in an airport or in a hostel or whatever, because you never know someone might have the same bag as you. Um, and if it's got my name on it, then there's no dispute in it then, is there? All right, so I want to kick off by doing this one first, because I just want to test out the pen, that the pen works. The last thing I want to do is uh, start writing on the rock so I can find that it doesn't work. So if I just try and put, yeah, it does, there we go. I've got to squeeze it a little bit. <laughs> At least I know it works, so that's a start. Right. Okay, so what should I, should I write it? Should I do it on the mid? Do it on the bottom? Let's do it on the, it's got a big bare bit on the body here. Let's do it on the body. Oh man, that did not go to plan. That is sad. these grey areas anyway so I can write some stuff on these and probably the marker pen so we'll try that. Um, that's a bit annoying, I really want that to work. This will work on the on the journal hopefully. We'll try that. this a whirl on here. I'll leave that bit blank, the next part blank. Okay. Not a big fan of putting my name down there. I wish I'd have just put it where I put it there on that one, but oh well, shit happens. Um, I put my name on that side in blue, on the other side in black. So you tested the pen out on that one. I've put my initials on the bottom of oh, my mosquito net. There it is, boom. And then obviously I've done the red strap there with UK written on, there we are. And then on the flip side of this, I put my initials on there. Oh, that's um. open. And then I did my journal. So I did Australia 20, 2019, 2020, and then my name, and then obviously leaving that blank for when I finish it off. But yeah, 
just a few things personalised. I know it looks probably a bit geeky and a bit sad or whatever, but so many things can go missing, either in an airport or when you're travelling or in a hostel. You never know who you're going to be staying with. And it's good to be trustworthy, but things get mixed up, things happen. So as long as I've labelled it and put my name on, at least I know what my kit is. And if someone takes something, that there's no dispute in it, do you know what I mean? Well, that's it really for this vlog, but I will be putting another one out on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, what I want to do is take the Australia book out and just go through a bit of my... Uh, bucket list for what I want to see when I go to Australia and if you follow me on Instagram occasionally I will be putting like some pictures up of places I want to go and visit not just in Australia but around the world so follow me on there underscore Dan Daniel yeah, underscore Daniel Herrick underscore I'll put a, like a link in the bit below as well and I'll also put a link to the full Ricky Gervais interview he did with 60 Minutes because it's an interesting interview because he's got a new series coming out on Netflix so yeah just sort of summed up how I was feeling really so um, thought it was just a nice thing to put in and hopefully you guys get something out of it as well because you know it really sort of hit home with me exactly how I was feeling about Australia and what I say like about life in general really so I'm going to put all this back together now and then uh, put it to one side before I wrap up just want to say happy birthday to Craig or Flagmaster676767 he's on YouTube and leaves comments below the video some, sometimes I went to his birthday party the other day we went and did an escape room in Skegness I was going to vlog from there but uh, you're not allowed to take cameras or anything inside because obviously then you can record the clues and share them and then people do it. But we did this um, pirate's room, this, um, I can't remember what it's called, like Skull and Crossbones style, style thing. It was basically a pirate themed room and uh, really, really good fun, really, really good fun. We bossed it, we had an hour to get out and we got out with 14 minutes and 50 odd seconds to spare. Uh, but yeah, I had a really good time. So happy birthday, mate. I uh, hope your head's not too sore from the other night because uh, you did get absolutely trolled, uh, which is partly Conan's fault, partly my fault. So. Apologies, but not apologies. But yeah, um, happy birthday, dude. Have a good one. And thanks for, uh, in the three years that I've lived in Skegness, always being there for me uh, and being a good mate. And uh, hopefully I'll see you when I get back from, obviously I'm going to see you before I go, but when I get back from Australia, hopefully you'll still be around and we'll be able to catch up.